Well, good morning and praise the Lord, somebody. Good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Why is this keep wiggling so much, too? Hey man, welcome back to another episode of the Morning Drive podcast. Um, I want to apologize to my YouTube people. I've been very delayed in uploading these videos because for me it's like when I start the process and then it's like I get distracted by other stuff. It just doesn't get uploaded like it's supposed to. So my apologies for that. So you will see kind of like that back-to-back upload happening but you will get these episodes okay okay um but again welcome back to the morning drive podcast with your host me where y'all are having a blessed week so far and i need to get out of this place before um these um this bus comes through because then it's just like gonna be just nothing but traffic nope because this car wants to drive slow oh well good morning mother but yes uh you know the weather is very weird and i just like to blame global warming just because we just had like 80 degree weather kind of like back to back and now it like dropped to like 60 so it was like, yeah, fun. Fun, 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 fun. But, um, you know, here's what it is. We thank the Father, the good, good Father, for what we have. Because it could be worse. It could be worse. But, on this morning drives um, topic, I want to talk about waiting is hard. Waiting is hard. You know, I feel like at times we like to say, we like to like quote um, the Bible in Maverick City when we say wait on the Lord. And it's just like, yeah, I understand that we got to wait. But at the same time, waiting is just so difficult and so challenging. And the way that this car doesn't turn, they need to get saved. They need to get saved. Let's cover them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. But yeah, like, waiting is hard. Like, we want things to be done in, like, our timing, as always. But it's just like, that's not how life works, unfortunately. It don't work like that. But at the same time, it's just like, God, how long must I wait? But, you know, he can ask the same thing about you. How long must he wait for you to get it right? How long must he wait for you just to get your life in order? How long must he wait? And, you know, I kind of put that into perspective where it's just like, God... I'm sorry if I'm rushing you. I do apologize. And I want you to help me to, you know, to really wait on you. You know, the one thing I always like to joke about, but I'm also very serious about too, is that I never like to pray for patience because then God starts bringing things your way to like start trying your patience. And I'm just like, oh, child. But we do need to be patient. We do need to practice self-control and, um, you know, be, like, you know, be in, like, that space where, you know, we are fully trusting God and everything that we do, but, you know, it's hard, it's hard, because, you know, if y'all, like, recall that, um, J.G. Wentworth commercial, it's my money and I need it now thing, um, like, it's my blessing, and I need it now. 
that's, what, that's why I feel like we be doing to God sometimes. We tell him that, like, well, it belongs to me, so I want it now. Like, um, excuse you. That's not how this works. That is not how this works. But, but you know, we, we tend to, like, make God our employee. employee. And, you know, TikTok, God, like, you are running behind schedules on your promises and your blessings. But in reality, like, no. God doesn't work for you. You work for him. And all because it's delayed, that doesn't mean it's been denied. And all that is doing is just um, not prolonging. That's not the word I want to use. Excuse me. But I um, uh, can't think of the words today. But the fact of the matter is, is that God's timing is the perfect timing. And you just have to be patient and really just wait on the Lord. You got to wait on him in everything that you do and everything that you want to do. You got to wait on him. So that's my encouragement for today is just practice patience and just know that God hears you and he is going to fulfill all his promises as the Bible says, all his promises are yes and amen, but you got to learn to wait. You got to wait your turn. Just like when you are in line at a grocery store and you're waiting for the a register to be open, you got to wait for the customer to finish checking out their stuff. Or like you are... Like, in line, waiting to buy food. You gotta wait. What is happening here? For some reason, there's a whole bunch of people outside, and I don't know why. Huh. Not sure what's going on here. But whatever it is, Lord, I pray that you fix it in the name of Jesus. But um, let me go ahead and pray with y'all real quick. Um, so I can figure out what in God's name is going on outside my school. Because apparently all these students that are on buses are now outside. And not sure why that is. So... Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every single person that has tuned in onto this podcast or has found this YouTube channel. God, I pray that you continue to cover each individual person and that you help us to learn how to be patient and to wait on you because your timing is always the right timing. But God, we just want to say thank you for how you continue to do great works in us. And we'll continue to give your name the praise, glory, the honor because it belongs to you and you alone. In Jesus' my name, we pray thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen, amen, amen. I love y'all. May God continue to bless you and keep you. And remember, wait on the Lord. Be of good cheer. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Make sure y'all hit hashtag replay in the chat if you are rewatching this broadcast. Or you share, you like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time on the Morning Drive Podcast. Bye.